Look at this less expensive, better designed prosthetic arm. So the more force I apply from the muscle, the more the hand opens. It has the Veterans Administration interested for its potential to help war amputees. It also displays a number of unusual characteristics. This is some of the cutting edge research conducted by America's brightest high school scientists in Washington, D.C. this week at the Intel Science Talent Search. And they come up in like string theory too, in like physics. Forty high school seniors are competing for more than half a million dollars in scholarships, selected from over 1,600 students nationwide. They're judged for their critical thinking and original research. How high a liquid rises depends on how thin the gap is. Like new approaches to defeat disease and cure cancer, Especially because we're dealing with children and young adults, it's really important that we emphasize this form of cancer and providing uh, novel techniques and therapies for them. Other innovative research includes improving and increasing power from tiny fuel cells to long-term environmental impacts of power plant water discharge into rivers and streams. Going into the 21st century, we're not going to compete on the basis of wage rates. We're going to compete with our minds, with our bright ideas, and the 40 kids that you see here tonight at the Science Talent Search, these are really the cream of the crop. Judges awarded Brian McCarthy of Hillsborough, Oregon's third place win with a $50,000 scholarship. Graham Van Shake of Columbia, South Carolina gets $75,000 as a second place finalist. The winner of the 2008 Intel Science Talent Search is Shivani Sood of Durham, North Carolina. Her project, inspired by a family member's battle with cancer, a new way to diagnose and treat colon cancer. For the top prize, Sood receives a $100,000 scholarship. In Washington, D.C., Mark Pettinger for the Intel Science Talent Search.